Wow. That's perfect. 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 We got to test this. So I wanted to take a second to explain why this video was basically a silent video. Um, I had every intention of talking through it, but when I looked back at the recordings, I really didn't talk um, other than like, wow, wow, amazing, wow. That's pretty much all I was saying because I was just amazed by this and really just really surprised and like um, a little bit of a backstory. I've wanted a custom like a maker's saw for a while now and I've also wanted it with a Bacote handle that's kind of been a dream of mine because Bacote is my favorite and eventually I would love to have like all of my tools to have Bacote on them that's that's a goal and a saw was kind of one of the places I wanted to start um and it's here so a little story on ordering this from Charlie so Charlie's not taking orders anymore which we'll talk about in a little bit because I want you guys to know this guy um when I told Charlie I wanted a saw I said, hey, I have some Bacote. Can you use that for the handle? He said it wasn't thick enough. And he said he didn't have any. And I said, okay, well, I still need a saw. I still need a crosscut saw. Can you can you still make me one? And he said, that's fine. I have some Babinga. You know, we'll use that. And I said, that's perfectly fine. And then he he sent me a message one day and he said, hey, how big are your hands? And I said, small. And I sent him some measurements of my hands. And then he sent me a picture of this handle unfinished. And he said, I found this. And he's thinking the reason he stopped making it was because it was too small for this, for whoever's hand he was making it for, whatever. So I said, let's, we'll make it work. It, let's, let's do it because that's, that's what I wanted. You know, check this out. It fits my hand. Perfect. That's, that's, I would say this is a perfect fit. I'm not cramped anywhere. It rests really well. Um, just that's why I was so I was first blown away because it is Bacote and then I was also blown away because it fit perfectly and then I was blown away again because it cuts so well the only cross cuts I've tried before like the um cheap ones that you can get from Amazon and Lowe's and then I had a Veritas one and you know but this blows those two out of the water blows those ones out of the water absolutely so that's why this wasn't a talking video. But I had to add something in there because Charlie is, he's honestly one of the, the best guys that I've ever met. Um, when I was ordering this, I told him I'm going to do a video on it because that's that's what I do now. I make, I make videos of stuff and I enjoy doing it. So there'll be a video. And he told me, he said, don't do it for me because I don't want the business. And he said it's because he started falling into a routine where he was just taking orders and it turned into cookie cutter saws. And he didn't want to do that. Um, Charlie is very artistic and very creative and just has an amazing mind, but he hasn't been able to 
do that as much as he wanted to. So pretty much starting now, I think I was probably one of the last orders that he accepted. He's not doing custom orders anymore. He's not taking orders. What he wants to do is make a saw and post it to sell. Make a saw and post it to sell so he can use that creative and artistic mind that he has. So he is doing that now. Um, he has a couple saws to get through the the end of this year, but then next year, that's, that's all he's going to focus on. He's going to build what he wants to build, and I get it. Because when I was doing woodworking and I was taking woodworking orders, I had no time to build things that I wanted to build. It was all about making something for somebody else, and I lost the joy in it too, so I completely get where he's coming from. So I've seen a couple of his custom, like, creativity mind saws, and they are just... Wow. They are. They're amazing. I mean, you can get a cookie cutter saw anywhere. You can get a saw like this anywhere. But the saws that he's going to start making and that he has been making when he has time are just amazing. They're just, they're awesome. So again, you can't order from him. He's not doing that anymore. So don't try to reach out to him and say, I want to order this. You can't. He is a, can I have it, that Facebook group I talked about. He's a, can I have it, Facebook group exclusive. That's the only place that he posts his saws to sell now, or always has, but the custom ones, that's, that's the only place that he's going to post them. So if you guys want to see some of the stuff that he makes, because it will blow your mind. It's just amazing. He's, it, they're awesome, and they cut really well, too, as you saw. You have to go onto the Can I Have It Facebook group, join it there, and you'll see the saws that he posts, and he only does them in auction, so you'll have to bid on them. But trust me, they're... They're worth it. I mean, this is just, it's a dream come true for me. So thank you, Charlie. Um, thank you all for watching. Have a great evening or day, wherever you are. I don't know.